Hey, so today we're going to do some shaking meditation. Shaking is like a super powerful practice. It's been done in a lot of different traditions and it's so good for stress relief. It's been known to cure serious illnesses, but it can also bring you into some very blissful and ecstatic states and it feels really good. It's so fun to do. So stay tuned. Let's do some together. Hey, I'm Shanti and welcome to Wide Awake. In this channel I talk about all different kinds of spiritual practices, meditation practices, little tips and tricks that I've picked up to help you feel more peaceful, more content, but also feel more awake and alive and connected to each moment. So just so you know, I've put a few links and tips down into the description below, so feel free to check those out if you'd like to. Alright, let's get into some shaking. Hey, so I thought I'd just give a quick little intro and then we can get into some shaking practice together. So why should you do shaking? Well, this practice has been around for a long time and it's been shown to have a whole lot of different benefits. Like firstly, just simple stress relief benefits. Like it feels so good to just release all that tension through a bit of shaking. But it's also been shown to cure like serious illnesses like cancers and it's been used in the treatment of trauma. So it can heal on quite a deep level. And I think the other big benefit that's been amazing for me personally is just it feels like it clears a whole lot of emotional blocks like stuff that's been stuck in the body um, and it helps clear that and I sometimes feel big emotions coming up you know I've been crying when I've been shaking it's really quite powerful for just releasing all that stuff that's just been stuck in your body for a long time so where did it all come from I think People like Osho have made shaking meditation really popular. Osho does a whole lot of guided shaking meditations. There's also retreats you can do, like in Bali there's a beautiful man called Ratu Bagus who runs retreats, he's still going, he's still running retreats um, in Bali where you can do like a full week of shaking. So yeah, if you get a chance to check that out, I, I highly recommend doing that. But it's also you know, shaking meditations have been part of some really long traditions like Qigong, you know, Chinese medicine. Um, there's a number of different traditions that have used shaking as part of their medical practices. Yeah, and how does it work? I think one of the big ways it works is just energetically by just releasing all that stuck energy, that stagnant energy that's been stuck in the body. A lot of people talk about it opening up the kundalini. So the kundalini is like a big energy pathway that runs from the top of your head down your spine. And this practice can really open up that channel. And, you know, that's quite a powerful channel and it can lead to some really deep healing, deep energies moving, but also lead to some really deep ecstatic states as well like people just totally bliss out and start laughing uh, so it can be really pleasurable as well all right so let's get into some practice together let's do about five minutes of practice together to experience it all right so let's get into some shaking so standing with your feet about hip width apart knees bent having your knees bent allows the energy to flow through and just allowing your body to begin shaking rather than forcing it. Just see if there's a shake that wants to emerge from your body. This is one thing Osho says that we should allow the shake to emerge rather than forcing it. So you might just notice like a little shake starting to happen and letting it get a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's kind of bouncing, shaking. Great. Yeah, let that shake emerge. Let it build up in your body. Ah. You can just give your arms a really good shake out. Get that stagnant energy out. And just give your feet a little bit of a shake out. Ah, get all that stagnant energy out. Beautiful. When you're practicing, you should keep your feet rooted into the earth. You know, I think it's good to shake the feet out a little bit, but in general, you keep the feet down, connected to the earth, because it helps you stay grounded. Oh, all right, let's just get into it. Just let the body go. Allow that shake to happen. See if you can like totally relax the body. Start 
releasing the jaw, relaxing the face, let the neck go, let your whole body shake, yeah. Ah. Keep going, keep going. It's great. Get all that stagnant energy out of the body. If you start to get a bit tired, just breathe a little bit deeper. Yeah. Ah. And you might feel like some sounds want to come out. Just let those sounds come out. Release that tension. Whatever sounds they are, it's perfectly okay. <sighs> keep going, keep shaking. Keep breathing. <sighs> a little bit deeper shaking yourself right to the core I want to get a little bit more intense with the shaking oh, release it all all that pent up stuff let it all go oh. just getting a little bit softer just allowing the body to move by itself now allowing the shakes to happen totally effortlessly just let your body do what it wants to do Settle down. Ah. Letting the body come into stillness. And just feel what you can feel in your body right now, staying present. I personally think it feels really good to just open the arms up. Helps open the heart. Just allowing all the energy to move through and clear. Ah. Wow, the sun's coming out here. Ah. See the light. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Hope you enjoyed this shaking and hope to see you in the next video.